Well, it's a, it's a, a tough time. Um, it's, there's no, no easy games, aren't there? I know our brother have lost a couple of games um, recently, so but it's going to be a tough game. Um, they've been really close games that we've played against them this season, and there's only been the odd goal in it. So um, and they beat us out here the last time, didn't they? So no, it's going to be a hard game, very hard game. They've been beat a few times, as I said, but they've only lost by the odd goal. They'll be competitive. They're fighting for their lives as we are. So no, we're expecting a really tough game. How under pressure do you feel as a manager at the moment? As much under pressure as I've always felt since I've come here, to be honest with you. Um, we've never managed to push ourselves away from the relegation zone. Um, that's continued through all season really, so no, but we do know this is a big game, but they're all big games, but obviously we know that uh, if we can get the victory on Saturday, I think that would that would relegate our growth, so yeah, so it's a, it's a big one. How confident are you that you can avoid relegation? I'm confident, of course I'm going to say that, I'm confident, yeah, because yeah, we've got a good team, we believe we're playing well, we need to play better, we need to, we need to score more goals, but uh, we're competitive, as, you, as, we, as we were shown in the last game, doing it Partick, even with the 10 men, so um, no, I'm confident that we've got a good enough uh, bunch of players and we can get out of it. And fitness at the moment, what's the score like? All the long termers are out injured, uh, as you know. James Carragher has no trained all week because he's been ill. Nico's also no trained all week because he's been ill. So we've got a bit of sickness in the camp. Um, other than that, I think we're all right. But we're fine. These guys were asking questions earlier about sort of the dedication of alone players and so on. I mean, how comfortable are you with the way that uh, they've been performing in particular? Yeah, I think they've done very well, the lone players, to be honest, yeah. We've been unlucky with injuries with two of them, haven't we? Because Mullins and McAllister had to go back to their parent clubs. So they were, that was a big blow for us, losing their two players, because obviously I brought them in for a reason. I knew they were good players, so they were two of my starters. Yeah, they've gone, but um, the other lone players have done well, and, and most of them are playing. There's only Bim really has been coming off the bench. So no, I'm happy with the lone players, and um, I'm happy with their commitment. I know you always focus on the next game solely, but in terms of Queen's Park, what are your thoughts? Can you give us a... To be honest with you, it's, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, it's got to be this one. It's got to be this one. I know Queen's Park are coming next, but it's got to be this one. We've got to pick up points. We've got three home games. We've not been winning at home, so we need to, we need to turn that round. We've been relying on our away form the whole season, um, which we've, I think we've played 13 away games since I've been here, spanning six months, and we've lost three. And the third one was on Saturday against uh, Patrick with 10 men. So we've been outstanding away from home. Unfortunately, the flip side of that is we've been very poor at home. But we'll go three home games and we need to turn that form round or we will be in a, a real uh, relegation um, battle. Or you know, So it's going to be tough for us, but we're, we're, um, what we're looking forward to. Have you worked out at all an explanation for, for why there is that disparity between home and away? I wish I could put my finger on it. Obviously, it's, there's a lot of things, isn't there? No playing well enough. You know, the environment, the elements, the pitch, the other teams playing well. Maybe um, certain things going against us. What's just happened, and as you can see, we got a couple of poor decisions on Saturday that went against us. Thankfully, one got overturned. So, um, you know, it's a. It's a, a uh, a combination of a lot of things, isn't it? Is this pitch too big? No, I like a big pitch. I like a big pitch. We can play a football. Um, look, it's just it's just a combination of a lot of things, aren't they? Really, no, it's not. For whatever reason, we just don't seem to be able to get over the line at home. But as I say to you, away from home, I've been here for six months, and we've lost three games away from home. That form would put us at the top of the table. If only we could, um, no, do the same at home. We'd be flying, wouldn't we? Getting that, getting that victory. Oh, sorry, Charlie. No, no, no. Getting, you go getting that victory at home would sort of lift the fans and maybe bring a bit of, you know, positivity. Positivity, aye. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah, absolutely. Because it's been months and months, is not it? Yeah. Um, and it's been so disappointing. And we've been close, of course. We haven't. We should have won a few games. And we've just not been good enough in a way as well. And maybe just never got quite got the breaks. Um, you know, we've no lost. You know, we don't lose a lot of games, do we? But at home, for some reason, we've just never been able to hit that form mm -hmm. that we've hit away from home. Um, as I say to you, and I'll go back to you, we've, we've had to count our away form Aye. to keep us in the division. Because our away form is outstanding.
I think but teams can still treat you like one of the big teams in the league, even though you're you're down there. You know that that's maybe got a lot to do with it as well in terms yeah. of the way they set themselves up. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah possibly. Just we just need to do better, don't we? As well, we need to do better. We need to create the tempo, you know, and create the atmosphere in the ground, and hopefully the fans will come along with us because the fans are important. As in, uh, you know, every team, every home, every home team needs their fans behind them to create that atmosphere. But we need to create that atmosphere ourselves, you know, and, and push as hard as we possibly can. And of course, we have need to turn this home form around, or we're in big trouble. Sorry, Charlie. Well, I think one question will do me after after that. Um, the fans have been getting a bit restive, shall we say, but you know, rhetorical question. Does that help, really? I, I don't think it's going to help, no, but you understand why fans are getting restless, don't you? I mean, as you say to you, you know, at home particularly, um, because we've no one. And when you've no one, it's difficult for fans to, to stick with you. We want them to stay with us, it's coming to an important part of the season, and we want them behind us. Of course, away from home, they've, they've been outstanding, so we've only lost three. So that party has been good. The home, the home form has not been good. So you understand that the, the, the fans getting restless, of course. And, and, you know, they'll support the team anyway. They want to support the team. I'd always encourage that. They support the team how they see fit. Um, of course, we'd want them on board with us um, because you know we need them. Do the fans not realise that that kind of reaction actually isn't supporting their team? I think it's just because at the end of the day, you've lost a game, haven't you? And everything is a disaster then, because you've lost. Um, and so they get that initial reaction, um, particularly, for instance, doing at Partick. Um, I thought we played very well at Partick. Okay? We maybe never quite um, had the finishing touch in the box, but certainly our, our build-up play and our uh, approach play was very good. And of course, we were doing the 10 men as well. I thought we pushed Partick all the way. Um, but of course, when you get beat, Everybody's upset. I'm upset. The fans are upset. We're all upset. Uh, and it's just we've just got to try and win games to bring them on board with us, you know. But we do, we do want them with us um, because it would help the players. But as I say to you, they'll support the team anyway. They want to support the team. That's great, Dan. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a couple of times for reference going down 10 men last week and Cammy's suspension has obviously been overturned. That's, that's a big boost, isn't it? It's a massive boost for us because Cameron's done fa fantastic well for us. Um, great player, great leader. Uh, we, we knew the decision was wrong at the time. Um, you know, as you know, Alex Samuel's on the edge of the box, and 20 seconds later, it's in, it's in our goal. The, the referee should have blew for a, a penalty or a free kick for us. He never. We got up the pitch 20 seconds later, we're picking the ball at the net. So we're just not getting any breaks, but maybe that is a break. Um, but look, you, well, we knew the decision was wrong at the time, and to be fair, they've overturned it. So we've got them for the next game. We're happy with that. Um, they say the bad decisions even even out over the season. So they will. Well, let's hope we get some decisions for now at the end of the season because um, well, time's running out for their good decisions. I think we have asked you about Cami before, but he really has been one of the standouts since he came in in January, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He's done really well. Changed the position. He's just got on with it, and his, his ability, you know. He can play in a probably a number of positions, really. Done very well for us. So we're really pleased with him. Of course, um, you know, we're happy that they, they got overturned, uh, which was right. And um, you know we've got him for the weekend now, so but not really happy with him. And uh, game in hand, the, they'll defeat by every other night, kind of changes their approach, perhaps, you know, because they're almost down. But I suppose the flip side is to come up here, maybe playing with a wee bit of freedom, you know, because it's... Yeah, well, if they win the game, yeah. you know what I mean, it gets them a, a, a lot closer to us. Obviously, their goal difference is poor as well, so yeah, if we can, um, we get the victory, I'll probably put them down, I think. Um, obviously, the goal difference is massive, isn't it? They've got a, a big minus there. But, you uh, know, it's going to be a tough game. Look, we've had, th I've had three games with them here, and, um, um, you know, in the, in the season, they've all been close, haven't they? We managed to scrape a, a draw down there, gone deep into the game. To beat us out there, as I said, uh, we beat them in my, my first game, so it's going to be a close game. And yet they might play with a bit of freedom. They'll, they, no, they, they, they go quite. Um, but no, we're, we're expecting a really tough, tough match, and uh, you know one we're looking forward to. It's getting to this side of the time of the season where you know there's relegation and promotion being decided. You know, Falkirk are up to the, the championship as well, which will be a big addition. It'll be great to be to be part of that and going for a promotion up the top end next year. Yeah, fault at the top team, aren't they? I mean, undefeated in their league. Some going, isn't it? So far, you know, it really is a 
but look, that's that's by the by to me. That's next season. If it's you know, hopefully we can stay in the division. We've got to start picking up wins. We've got what five games left. We, we, I think we will, we will need at least three wins at least, um, and hopefully that will start on Saturday. But we know how difficult it's going to be. But we'll be we'll be up for it and we'll be ready. Is that kind of how you approach this last spell of the season? Of X number of points it should be enough. I just I just think when people tell me like forty points, I think it's normally run about where you should, where you're going to be. Um, but I just look to the next game for the win. We we need to win the next game, don't we? We need to pick up points. You know, we've no won for a couple of weeks now, so um, you know we need to score goals and and win the games. You know, because they're, they're running out, aren't they? And we've got a couple of teams in and around about us the next two games. Obviously, we played well at Patrick. Never got a, a draw that I think we deserved at least. And um, we know we've got a broth and. Queen's Park next, two teams right next to us in the league. If we can pick up points in both of them, two wins, things look a lot better, don't they?